Hello everybody, here's my mom all, and here's all the gifts that we've got from this month. This is the monthly gifts, and uh, she's gonna show you all the stuff and talk about it. Okay, here's Papa's uh, apron. Read it for me, or Corey. It says hot stuff coming through, and I don't mean the food. It's an yeah. apron for Papa. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and we was gonna have him uh, put it on and show y'all, but he's not here right now. And then here's my apron that I got, and I love it. It says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. And then it says, under his wings you will find refuge. That's right. And then I got me a sun hat. Sunflowers on it. Yes, I love my sunflowers. And both of those, uh, the hat and then the apron, it came with this, the cow tails and the chickens. In one video we talked about how somebody sent us cow tails and they didn't even make it back to the house. We all ate them before they got back to the house. That's so true. Yeah, so I guess they sent more. That was his mom and me. Yeah, so these ones at least made it back to the house. And this is a cool little chicken nightlight. It came with the apron and the hat, like I said earlier. But the egg is like coming out of the back and it's the egg lights up like a nightlight. Like he's having, like she's having an egg. Yeah, she's <laughs> in the middle of laying an egg, and the egg is glowing. Yeah. We would plug it up, but it needs like a USB. I'd have to go and uh, get the USB for my charger to, to charge it right now. We should have did that, so that way we yeah, could have showed them. But we should have. I didn't think. Well, maybe the next video we could set it out and show y'all. Yeah. <laughs> if y'all want to see what it looks like when it's lit up, but all that came together, all the first things, and now. Actually, these. Come with the, the aprons. Too. Yeah, these came with the aprons. Too. And the egg and that, didn't it? Yeah, I, I think so. It but it's got a purple rooster. I was going to say chicken, but this is a rooster because yeah. the tail of uh, feathers. Some people always ask, like, I've had dozens of people ask, how do you know if it's a, a boy or a girl? Or how do you know if it's a rooster or a hen? Or what's the difference between them? And uh when you look at it you can just instantly tell if it's a boy or not because the boy's got the big uh tail feathers that come up and around and down and the girls just have little tiny feathers they only come up to like here and they only they point upwards yeah and the boys have bigger uh, uh red uh i forget what you call them waddles that hang down yeah and this i think is called the comb ain't it yeah it's a comb and it's usually bigger than the hens too oh, so that's a few of the differences and the boys are way bigger yeah and they stand up taller. The hens are always like hunched over and hunched down. The boys are always standing up yeah. tall and uh, looking over top of them. This is another one that says, you are my sunshine. Now big dish towel. Yeah. These are nice. We probably won't yeah. actually use them. We're gonna up, hang them up for, for decoration. So these will be for decoration and not really for like using because they're too, look too nice. And I think they might even been handmade. Yeah, it looks like like em embroidered. embroidered and then there's uh this we just got this the other day it says hot i don't know how to pronounce this word so i'm not going to say it because it i might sound stupid if i try to pronounce <laughs> this so i'm not going to say that but it come with this a uh, gift letter and the people who sent it their name is starfish and clamshell so thank you so much uh, starfish and clamshell for sending these yeah, uh, uh, hot peppers. Yeah, Papa and Milton loves hot peppers, hot chips. I mean, they like all that spicy food. I, I couldn't handle it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll be really good. I can't wait to try them. It says a uh, Chicago tradition since 1898. So I guess it's like a Chicago style. I've actually, and it even says it right there. I just now realized it says the original Chicago style. I've actually been to Chicago. It's uh, whenever I was going to the Philippines, the airport there was probably the biggest airport out of any place I've been to. It's bigger than San Francisco, bigger than China or Hong Kong or anywhere that I went to. This is probably the biggest uh, airport at Chicago. It had like a train. I had to ride a train to get from one uh, airplane to the next. Yeah. And there's that. And then this is another package. And this they wanted us to give them a shout out. So we're gonna give them a shout out here. And it's their company, it's called healingbottoms.com. So if y'all need a, a healing bottom, then you go check out their website and show them some support on there if you would like to. Yeah. 
it tells everything that this helps with. This is a, a suppository, but it tells everything that it could help with. Yeah, it's a gut, uh, what do you call it, medicine, herbs yeah. or whatever. And there's these. These is too big of a pill for me to take. <laughs> I would uh, choke to death trying to take one of these. It's humongous, but it tells everything that it helps with here. Yeah, it's sometimes you have to have that stuff. The older you get, the more you have to have. And then there's some tea there or something there, ain't it, Corey? Yeah, it's this big list of stuff that it helps with. And it's got like herbs and stuff inside of it. And then this is like something to make tea with. It says Healing Bottoms Max Turmeric Spice Tea. And it's got cinnamon. I guess that's like a dried orange or something. And maybe turmeric powder. I could see like a little powder in there. And then there's the cinnamon and there's the orange stuff. And I guess you make a tea out of it. It says uh, all natural treatment since 2009 made in the USA. And it says... It sets our tea apart, so it is a tea. And it shows how to, the directions on how to make it. Let us know in the comments if y'all want us to make a tea out of this and follow the directions for y'all. Because we'll make it if y'all want us to, but if not, then we'll probably stay away from it because I don't know if I could uh, handle it. It might tear my stomach up trying to drink that. But we'll make it for y'all if y'all want to yeah. see us make it. But anyways, here's the, their company, healingbottoms.com. Y'all should uh, check it out and show them some support on there if you want to. And thank you so much for us sending this. And we do appreciate it. And here's the chicken and the cow tails. We already showed that. We'll move on down. Here's all kinds of towels. These are dish towels. You can see it's got that for like scrubbing. Dish rags, yeah. Yeah. And there's a bunch of them. There's two packs. Then there's one of these things. It's a kind of like an oven mitt, sort of. But you put it on the handle of your cast iron a skillet yeah. or whatever a skillet you handle put it in the oven, yeah. yeah and then uh, but don't put this in the oven this is just to yeah. get it out of the oven yeah. we've actually made that mistake before I, I left it on there yeah <laughs> we told the story on that before too a long time ago in one of the other videos we told the story about how it happened and stuff and there's two of these these are really unique and cool it's like a little hat almost but it's made it's like an oven mitt you could grab the edge of it without having to put the whole oven mitt on yeah and you could pick stuff up dishes. like this yeah the casserole dishes a, yeah that'd be great for the casserole dishes that's perfect and there's uh two of them because some of them's got handles too and you it's hard to grab a hold of the handle when you got the oven yeah. mitt on so this is like you could grab a hold of the handle on each side yeah and then this is like a little bag it's not opened yet, but it's got the handles down in there. It's a little tiny tote bag. It's got little flowers on it. And then this, all the patterns match too. The patterns on this matches this. And it matches this. Yeah. So all those are the same pattern. And then there's a bunch of stuff with the stripe pattern. Like there's this, this, and then there's the flowers again. And then this one's got the stripes. So everything is all matching. And then there's this. It says, you are the eggs to my bacon. And then there's the stripes and then the flowers and another stripes. So there's a whole bunch of oven mitts and all that stuff came in one package. So thank you so much for that. We'll, we won't be getting any burnt hands now <laughs> with all these oven yeah. mitts. We shouldn't at least. And the dish towels, we appreciate all of it and we thank you so much for this. Yeah. <laughs> And then here's two little uh, pot holders. You put the, your pot on these when it's hot and it's little chickens, but I don't know if we'll actually use them for that because they're more of like a decoration. It's like crocheted or something. Chicken. We might just hang them for like a decoration. And here's our letter. It's a personal letter in there, so I won't open it up or nothing. And thank you so much for these. They are nice. And these might go in the mama's chicken cabinet where she keeps all her chicken stuff out so they won't get messed up. And here's this. This is a whole uh, glass top cook cleaner and polish. You put this on there and then you could scrub it with these scrubbing pads. You could put the scrubbing pads on this so that way you won't have to use your hand. And you could scrub that. And then here's the scraper. Yeah, yeah. Glass tops. 
Yeah, and we'll be testing this out for sure. Yeah. I guess they was uh, trying to say that our stove is dirty, so. It is sometimes it's yeah. Dirty. <laughs> yeah, I clean it all the time, but I've never cleaned it with nothing like this. So I'm gonna give this a try and, and thank you so much. And I hope you'll be satisfied with the, what it looks like afterwards. Yeah. But thank you so much for this uh, cleaning stuff. We do really appreciate it too. And we'll definitely use this and try it out. And then this was in a package by itself. It was sent from the company uh, Walfos. I don't know if it was sent from there or from Amazon, but I think it might've been sent from this place called Walfos. But it's a uh, cooking utensils and it's got like a rubber over top of the the whisk. So it's like yeah, stuff won't stick some, to it. I was needing some whisk. Yeah, yeah mine uh, tore up. So I had one in there that yeah. I, I went and bought, and then the lady sent me these. And there's three different sizes, and they're purple too. It's mama's collar. So thank you so much for those whisks, and we'll definitely be using those too. You'll see them in the next couple videos probably. Yeah. And same for this. Last but definitely not least, you're going to see this in the next few videos. Next time we use a platter or a dish to, to show it for the title picture, it'll be on this plate. Yeah, I have a whole uh, set of uh, casserole dishes that look like that. Yeah, she's got oven mitts that look like this. It's yeah. like a crab claw. And then she's got casserole dishes and bowls. I could show them to you all now, probably. Yeah, as long as it's not. Casserole dish down there. Yeah. Let me see where they are. See, there's uh, the two bowls with these rubber handles on them. That's the same thing. It's got that chicken on it. Then up top is the casserole dish. There's a whole set of those. There's big ones and uh, small ones, round ones. This cabinet has been here since as long as I've been alive. Here's uh, Mama's. Just about everything has been. Yeah, this was Mama's mom's uh, base. It got broke and I still hang on to it. But I guess that's all for this one. And uh, Mama's gonna read and pray for y'all. So y'all make sure to stay tuned. But thank you so much for this casserole dish too. Whoever sent it, we do really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you enjoy watching or seeing it on the next few videos. And we'll definitely use it for sure. And we thank y'all for all y'all's gifts. Yes, and we appreciate we everything that y'all do for us. Yes, we do. Even just a card or anything. And when you send a card, you'll be entered into the giveaway. And we'll do the giveaway at the end of every month. Yep. But even just a like or subscribe, that means so much to us. And we do appreciate each and every one of y'all. We love y'all. And if you send us a gift and you got your name and address in there, it, it will go into the, we'll fix the card up and put it into the box too. You know. Yeah. So we don't want to leave nobody out, you know. So, But we do appreciate everything y'all do for us. You know, you've been so good to us. But uh, we're going to be reading in Psalms 94 talking about praising the Lord and making a joyful noise unto him. It says, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep, deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart, as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work, forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do error in their heart. And they have not known my ways, and to whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Yes, if uh, you don't hear the Lord, you don't reverence the Lord, or come to the Lord and give your heart to the Lord, that's called repentance when you give your heart to the Lord, then um, you're not going to go to heaven with him, you know. You, you won't rest in his kingdom. But anyway, uh, I'm going to read this right here. It says, uh, songs, shouts, gratitude, and praise erupt from those gathered to worship the Lord, while scripture gives many examples of stillness and silence in God's presence 
It also gives many examples of praise and worship. Both peaceful silence and enthusiastic praise are appropriate expressions of worship to our great God. Um, what can soften our heart, our hard hearts and help us listen to God? The first step involves, involves our minds. Uh, remember that he is our rock, our king, our creator, and our shepherd. Uh, we have nothing to fear and nothing to lose by following him. The second step involves our heart. God desires to speak to us through his word and by the prompting, prompting of the Holy Spirit spiritually, we should open our hearts to him. Will you listen? Make your morning prayer each day. Lord, teach me to listen to you. And that's what we do when we get up in the mornings. You just talk to the Lord and ask him to help you to understand his word, to understand and listen for his still small voice, you know, because God will speak to you in a still small voice. But um, he, is, he uh, is there to talk to you, to lead you, to guide you, and that's what this book is for too. But he will also prompt you to do what's right uh, but anyway, and that's the Holy Spirit that lives within us. Uh, but we're going to pray for you right now. We all need prayer. It seems like the world's getting worse and worse, you know. And a lot of people are getting sick and in the hospital, financial problems, you know, a lot of things going on, their children. We want to remember everybody in prayer, especially our YouTube family and the lost that's out there, you know. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you, Lord, asking you, Lord Jesus, to take care of our YouTube family, Lord. You see the needs of them, Lord Jesus, and you see their children, Lord. You see the ones that's lost, Lord Jesus. You see our children, Lord. Uh, Lord, ask you to move up on them, Lord, and open their eyes up to you, Lord, before it's eternally too late, Lord. Uh, Lord, touch each one, Lord, that needs a touch from you, that has financial problems or health problems, Lord. Whatever it may be, marriage problems, Lord. Ask you to touch, Lord, and heal marriages, Lord, today. Uh, Lord, in your mighty name, Lord, touch the hearts and heal them, Lord Jesus. Let them feel your love and your mercy, Lord, and take care of them, Lord. And Lord, ask you to touch our nation because it's in an awful mess, Lord. And Lord, and touch Israel and Jerusalem, and Lord, let them find the peace that they need in you, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, and we know that you're coming back soon by just looking around, Lord. Help us to be ready to meet you when you come, Lord. Uh, Lord, and I just thank and praise you for always answering prayer, Lord, for being there for each and every one of us, Lord. Uh, Lord, have your way in our hearts and our minds, Lord. Teach us and guide us, Lord, in the way that you would have us to go, Lord. In your mighty name, I pray, Lord. And I give you all the love and all the honor for everything. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God is good, and he's there with us all the time. He'll walk with us, talk with us, show us what to do and how to go, you know. So just hold on to him and trust in him. Uh, he can speak to you in a still, small voice. He can speak to you in dreams. He can, uh, you know, just, you can feel his presence, you know, just, uh, just trust him and love him and you'll see what he can do for you, the peace that he can bring you. So we'll see you in the next one. I just really appreciate y'all. I thank y'all from the depths of my heart. I thank you for always being there for us and, and uh, loving us like you do. Uh, and we love y'all right back, you know, and we thank you for everything. Amen. So. I guess that's all for this one. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. There's a, uh, something I was meaning to tell y'all. There's actually been a sneak peek in this video. It's an Easter egg or a sneak peek or whatever you want to call it in somewhere in this video. And uh, y'all let us know the time in the this section of the video where you can see the Easter egg at. And let us know what y'all think it is. It's something that Mama's going to be cooking in the next video. She's going to be up. Uh, it's one of her recipes. But it's a sneak peek in this video. If y'all could see it or... Let us know in the comment what y'all think it is or what you think you saw. But I showed it for a second and you could see it in different parts of the video. But let us know what y'all think Mama's going to be making on that video. Yeah. And what the Easter egg was. <laughs> but we love y'all and God bless y'all. If you're still watching out this part, make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Share us to Facebook if you want to. Yes. Check out the merch shop. The link is in the description. And we love y'all and God bless y'all. And we'll Amen. see y'all in the next one. Yes, we will.